Okay, fourth graders continuing on in our measurement unit on lesson three. I can create conversion tables for units of time and use the tables to solve problems. All right, we're going to start adding more to our table collection, and this time it's on time. First one, Jeffrey practiced his drums from 4 p.m. until 7 p.m. How many minutes did he practice? Use the number line to show your work. Okay, so he started at four and then he ended at seven. So we have to go one, two, three. So he went on for three hours. But they're asking you for minutes. Now, most of us know that in one hour, it's equal to 60 minutes. I think we all should know that. So once we have that little conversion right here, it's going to help us solve that problem and convert hours into minutes. So how many? One hour, 60 minutes, we have three hours. So we're going to take 60 and we're going to multiply it with three. That's how many, that's how long he practiced for. Zero times three is zero. Six times three is 18. So he practiced, Jeffrey practiced for 180 minutes. All right? This conversion right here, we need to know that. Okay, we're going to continue on with these conversion tables and we're going to write the rule under each table. Now, guys, this is going to be helpful for us um, to pause the video after and you guys create the tables and bring it back and forth to and from school to help you answer questions. So in one hour, we just did this, how many minutes? Well, we're gonna multiply 60 because there's 60 minutes in one hour. Well, what about two hours? 120. What about five hours? So zero times five is zero. Six times five is 30. So we have 300 minutes. What about nine hours? Multiply that by 60 and we get zero, 540. Times 60 with 12 hours is 720 minutes. So the rule for converting hours to minutes is basically taking that hour and timesing it, multiplying it by 60 to get the minutes. So minutes is equal to 60 times H. All right, that's another way of writing it. But we need to remember that we're multiplying by 60 in order to convert hours to minutes. Okay, so the next one. How many hours are in one day? Well, again, I hopefully that you guys know that one already. There are 24 hours in one day. So that is a fact that we need to know, and I think that most of us do know that. All right, and the next one, I just continued multiplying by 24 uh, to save some time, but we multiply for how many hours are in three days? 72. In six, 144, and eight, 192, and then in 20 days is 480 hours. So now we have to think about what is the rule for converting days to hours. So how we remember that is days, how many days are we talking about? Multiplying it by 24, and that will give us the hours. So hours is equal to 24 times the days, all right? So this is how we would we need to pause the video, write down these tables, so we will have them for our collection to help us guide us through the next questions and the questions in when we further move on in our measurement unit. So pause the video and record these tables now. All right, so we have four days, 20 hours is equal to how many hours? So we wanna take 
the days and we want to convert it into hours. So that's why these tables are so important. So what we have to do is we are going to go over to the, to this chart right here and figure out, well, it doesn't have four days listed, but we do know the rule. We know that we're going to take the amount of days and multiply it by 24 because there's 24 hours in one day. So let's do that. Let's take 24 and we're going to multiply that by 4. Get 16, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 96. So there's 96 hours in 4 days, but now we must add what we also have <clears throat> left. We've got 20 hours left over here that we need to add on. So 6, 116 hours. So we've got 116 hours in 4 days and 20 hours. 17 hours, 5 minutes is equal to how many minutes? So now what's going to help us is this chart right here because we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour and they want us to convert all of this into minutes. So we have to look at this hours right here and convert this into minutes and then add on this extra five minutes that we have. So we are gonna get, <clears throat> we're gonna take 17 and how many minutes are in uh, one hour is 60, so we're going to multiply that by 60. Now, you should be saying to yourself, Mr. Mobietta, we need to be doing the, the hangout, right? We put 0 there, so 7 times 6 is 42, carry the 4. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 4 is 10, and then just bring down your 0. So it's 1,020 minutes, but we're not done because we have an additional five minutes here that we need to add on. So we've got 1,025 minutes is equal to 17 hours and five minutes. All right, our last example for tonight is Apollo 16's mission lasted over one week and four days. How many hours are there in one week and four days. All right, I think our charts could help us a little bit out with this problem. The only thing is, is that we would need to convert this one week. So one week has is equal to how many days? That's the only thing that we have to remember in order to solve this problem. And we don't have a chart for that in the table, but we should know this, that there are seven days in one week. So if we know that, we have one week and, and four days, so we, we have to include those four days. So we're going to do seven plus four is giving us, a, giving us oops, 11 days. Okay, so that's how many days the Apollo 16's mission lasted. But now the question is, they want to know how many hours was that so we need to con we need to convert days into hours and what's going to help is that is our conversion tables and I see over here wait a second I see over here we have days we know that there are 24 hours in one day but they want to know in 11 days so remember days times 24 so we're going to take 20, oops, sorry, 24 times 11, all right? So we could, you could use your area uh, model to solve for this or use your standard multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Once we cross that out, we need a placeholder telling us that we got rid of the 1s. Then we do 4 times 1 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. We're going to add up our partial products. And we've got 264 hours. 
the Apollo 16 mission lasted for 264 hours. So there you go. Make sure you get these tables uh, all ready for our collection, and then it will be much easier for you to guide you through each one of the math questions. You don't learn to walk by following rules. You learn by doing and by falling over. Most importantly, not just laying there, make sure you get up and you try again. Okay, first problem tonight. 10 hours, 30 minutes is equal to how many total minutes? And uh, use your tables to help you. Six minutes, 15 seconds is equal to how many seconds? And the last one, 23 days, 21 hours is equal to how many hours? Be like a postage stamp. Stick to a thing till you get there. Great job, guys. Continue practicing with measurement, and we'll continue tomorrow. Have a wonderful night.